So, the Valda Hogan for one or two. What do I think of it? Well, it's, this is my second or third time camping with it. And I must say there's some little features I like. For example, you can see down here, the arch is very easy to go up. When the top skin goes on, it goes into a little keyhole sort of there and locks in place. Guy ropes are easy to tighten and the whole affair slips over. The front is like a big T-shaped frame in the thing. When you put the top, the top cover on, it slips through this little hole here, stops it blowing around in the wind. It was tested almost to destruction at Hall's Water the last time I took it out. The nice thing is, as well, easy to tighten these ropes to give the, obviously the outer plenty of rigidity to keep that rain off and to withstand a little bit on the uh, of the old wind there. I found it to be roomy enough for me. <coughs> I tend to put the scene bag a little bit to one side with my mat. It's got little pockets here and here and I tend to hang a little lamp from inside. There's space enough to get lots and bits and bobs even your rucksack if you have to in a crisis but I tend to leave it in the porch which is a good place also leave your boots just leave them just just short when you're going in keeps the rain off yeah I like it a lot weighs about a kilo the exact figures I'll put on a bit later but it comes with all the pegs you need I really really like it One concern I had when I first got it, you can see the sides bowing in here and you think, oh no, I haven't got it tight enough. But if you look just between the first and second skin, there's a little clip high up. I don't know if you can see that. Right, there's a little clip. And that clips the inside to the outside. And when the outside is nice and tight, you know it's going to pull the inside. So even though it might flat backwards and forwards, it's going to keep me nice and dry. I know because I've tried folds up very very small very very impressed okay it was about 600 pound mark let's have a sit down but I've got to say sometimes you get what you pay for I also like in the corners here there's two box sections on the inner which clip into the outer a little pop studs in there so it's square at the end on the inside it's square which you'll see in a moment. Like I was saying, nice and plenty of room for your feet, and there's a square bit there. So rather than just taper down to the end and you catch your toes on it, I'm six foot one. Yes, I went for a bigger air mat. Once it's all laid out on its footprint, I've got to say, I found it to be have just enough room. Another feature of it, if you have to, it's very, very easy to disassemble. In the morning, if it's raining and you think, oh no, I've got to pack up and be on my way. It's relatively quick to disassemble. And if you have to, just take all the pegs out, roll the outer up, stick it in a carrier bag, throw it in its own bag that it comes with, throw it in the bottom of your rucksack, it's done. It dries in a jiffy. I very, I like it. I've never had any condensation build up in here. You can hear the rain, you can see the rain beading on the outside, not this level on the outside. And yeah, it's good. It's exactly how it was last time, with far more wind. The only downside I would say, I don't think there's really enough room for a large size rucksack in the porch. It could have been bigger. For a few grams, I've had to line my rucksack side on and sort of roll up the uh, tarpaulin that was on the ground just to keep, uh, I didn't want it pooling outside. Apart from that, quite happy, like I said. So the Vauda Hogan saw one to two. It's lightweight, it's easy to set up, it's easy to disassemble, it's cosy, but there's enough room for me to get comfy in it. I've all my little twiddly bits. The porch isn't the biggest, however, 
That's an 80 litre rucksack and it just goes inside the porch with a zipped outer and then a peg down. Uh, it benefits from having uh, do by the footprint, just so you can lay it out first and know where you're going to go. Yeah, it's quality, it's light, it's a good investment. Five out of five stars, definitely.